Hell yeah. All right. And uh, the music situation? Oh, yeah. Uh, Do you have like a Bluetooth I just connect to? Yeah, Frank, I like to start every episode off with a song, depending on who the guest is. Did you pick a song specifically for Frank? Uh, Not that specific. No, no, no. It, I bet you know it, though. Definitely knows it. Frank, were you Frank the Tank before the movie Old School? Yes. Yeah? Wow. Oh, wow, really? I feel like everyone, our grandfather's name is Frank. I wonder if people called him Frank the Tank. He was in the military. Probably a pretty common nickname. Yeah. My friend has a dachshund, Frank the Tank. Nice. Uh, I was watching uh, your interview with Chad Hill Park today. <laughs> what a cl- dude! I didn't know you did that back in the day. So you've been. Do- I mean, I'll get. Well, that wasn't Channel Park. That's that was a class project. So you're supposed to be Channel Park. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? What's Channel Park? <laughs> Chan Ho Park, the first Korean. <laughs> so you just had like a stand-in as Channel Park. It was a class project. Yes. Wow. So that was at Montclair State. Yes. Oh wow! Sick. Damn. I was going to say, like, how'd you get Chan Bark back in the day? That's a really big guest. That's like me getting you on here. <laughs> wow. He was a beast. Steve. Uh, yeah. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah, we're chilling. He wants to play music. He wants to play music from his phone. Yeah. From the phone, but... Yeah, So, honestly, I'm not even familiar with how to do it. Don't worry about it. But we'll, we'll, we'll skip it. Okay. All right, sorry about that, bro. It's all good. Well, you can put it in post edit. Probably. Yeah, I could, I could do it. Yeah, but yeah, can never match that energy though. All right, so, so I guess, what music were you gonna pick? Yeah, that was gonna, it was question. gonna be "Summer of '69" by Brian Adams, and I was gonna end the episode, which I still can in post edit, but uh, "God Only Knows" by the Beach Boys. Huh? You like that one? It's classic. Song. I heard Paul McCartney said that's uh, the beat. It's hit, he thinks that's the greatest song ever by the Beach Boys. Hey, he knows more about music than I do. Yeah, and. Uh, I think what Paul McCartney knows about music, Frank the Tank might know about sports. So everybody, welcome to the show, Steve Driscoll Show. Welcome Frank the Tank. Frank How's the Tank. How's it going, everyone? My brother Mike is back. What's up, what's up, what's up? Frank, you might be my biggest guest yet. <laughs> <laughs> like, most famous. I meant most famous, but like... These guys in the studio didn't know who he was. I'm surprised by that. Um, so for those of you who, do, who don't know who Frank is, Frank works at Barstool Sports. He's one of the biggest up-and-coming personalities there. I think like this has been the year of the Frank. Yeah, well, so far I guess. Uh, I mean, everywhere I go, it's crazy. I went to a uh, Mets game a couple of weeks, like, about a week ago, and uh, I'm walking down the uh, the uh, Aisle. corridor, the, uh, down the uh, concourse, and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Met come walking by, and uh, everyone is 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 going after me. Mr. and Mrs. Met can walk by. Wow. No so what you're saying is people cared more about seeing you than Mr. and Mrs. Met. Yes. I mean, I'd rather way rather see you than Mr. and Mrs. Met. They're <laughs> supposed <laughs> to be there. You're a celebrity. You should throw out the first pitch. Well, I don't, I don't think the Mets like me too much because I'm too critical. Oh, oh dude. They no, they should embrace it. you. Who's your favorite Met of all time? Daryl Strawberry? Maybe Mike Piazza, Howard Johnson, uh, Lenny Dykstra, people like that. They, oh, Lenny Dykstra. Dwight okay. Gooden. Eduardo Mike Alfonso. He was a good player, yes. Do you think the Mets are cursed? Yes, I do. What do you think? So the Boston Red Sox is obviously like the trading of Babe Ruth, Cubs is the Billy Goat. What do you think the Mets, the curse is? Hank was became a fan. Uh, I think it's because Frank. I think it's because they decided to put like a number one logo up in 1989, and uh, it's, everything's been fucked since then. Number one logo? Yeah. What's that? They, uh, they 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 were so happy that they were the best team in baseball over a five year period that they made a special logo for the '89 yearbook that had number one. That is definitely not what winners do. The Yankees would never do that. No, they wouldn't. And we don't like the Yankees either. But um, I guess one of my big questions for you is like, do you ever just like laying in bed and think like, damn, like I'm famous now? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it happens. Uh, it, it, it's crazy. I'm going to the Devils games next couple of days. Uh, Free tickets? Uh, no. You have I, to buy your own I, I tickets? I buy my own tickets, yeah. That's <laughs> such bullshit, bro. They you should get girls hitting you up on Instagram? Yeah, it happens. Yeah? Yeah. I'm surprised you saw my DM. They, uh, they they float across. I get I get uh, just sometimes when I get so many DMs, I just decide to delete them all. Yes, I'm not gonna. Thank God it. you didn't delete mine because I'm glad to have you on my <laughs> show. This is probably the most excited I've been for a show in a long time. And for anyone who watches Barcelona and knows about it, you probably understand why. But uh, take me back to the beginning. What uh, what got you so into sports? Well, uh, I mean. Just being a guy? Yeah, just being a guy, watching sports all my life there. Uh, uh, I was a Dolphin fan since uh, 
since I was very little. Uh, so you picked the good teams because the Mets and the Dolphins were good back then, right? Uh, the Mets got better a couple of years later. And the first year I really followed baseball, really, really got into baseball was 1985. And Dwight Gooden went uh, 24-4 and four with an ERA of 1.56 that year. Sheesh, oh, wow. ace. They don't make them like they made Dwight Gooden back in the day. No. I actually yeah. made you something today. Oh, yeah, I know yeah, you shit. like, uh, I forgot about this. So Mike is the chef of my family. I know you I'm rank, one of five siblings. You rate food a little bit. And I know you like fried chicken. I made you a chicken cutlet. I actually made you two. You only have to try a little bit You only bit have now. to try it and give a, give a rating. And be honest. He, right. he He's sensitive, yeah. but uh, I'll just be honest. I think I did a good job. All right, let's see. He's a cocky son of a bitch. Let's see here. Doesn't look bad. Does not look bad. No, he, him and his uh, fiance are breading, great chefs. Good breading. Be honest. I think this is a very good... Chicken cutlet. I think I would give just like an eight point one. Okay, eight point one. I was I was sensing a butt coming. What's wrong with it? Get some, uh, get some uh, stovetop stuffing, a nice vegetable. I think you have a nice meal. You think he needs a vegetable in the like a spinach, spinach pimento? Um, green beans would be good with that. Oh, you oh, like you say beans. on the side, not yes. mixed into the breadcrumbs. No, no, I'm talking about to compliment uh, it. Yeah, I'm talking about nice. You have a nice little meal. Yeah. What what kind of and drink would you have size, with that? Um. I'd either have a Pepsi or a uh, a Sprite. Yeah. Do you I, drink I, alcohol? I don't drink alcohol. No. I was going to say, are you, are you into the Spike Seltzers? Because uh, we got a little sponsor here. Oh, what? Two, two robbers? robbers. Shout out to Robbers. They're a sponsor. We didn't bring them here because I'm also not drinking for this month. But um, wait, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, yeah. So about Barcel. Did you know who Barcel was before they reached out to you? I had only heard of them in passing when... Uh, Pat McAfee got hired. Oh, wow. That's the time. So we we're, we kind of like New England ties. We're Boston fans, so we knew about them then. So what, what when they called you, who called you? Uh, I got called to be put on uh, the, what was KFC Radio at the time, which was uh, when Dave was still doing KFC Radio. So, so is there someone from the company called you, not one of the personalities? Uh, I, I don't even remember who, who yeah. contacted me. And then I uh, was on. And then uh, they started talking about and looking into me. I got... Uh, I went on MLB uh, the network there with uh, the pregame show with A Rod and uh, Kevin Burkhart. Oh, really? And Frank Thomas, the Big Hurt. And I did a few other things at MLB Network that day. I was supposed to be on uh, Jimmy Kimmel Live, but uh, they canceled me at the last minute because uh, um, Don Rickles died. Oh, oh man. He couldn't have chosen a different day? He couldn't have chosen a different day. <laughs> and, Do you have an agent? Uh, d- no, I don't have an agent. Would you ever start like an OnlyFans or or some sort no. of paid? Uh, I got Cameo. Cameo? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't need to do that shit. He, I he, got Cameo. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I'm on YouTube. Check out my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I was on it today. I can't believe that Chan Ho Park interview is not real. It's not real. That's another red. Wow. Track. I was like, Chan Ho Park's rocking a backwards hat. He's really chill. <laughs> Were you on social media back in the day? Were you on MySpace at all or earlier? I never earlier? really got into MySpace. Did you just start social media after Barstool picked you up? Mm, I was on Twitter a little bit. I was, I had a little bit of a YouTube channel. I was not on Instagram. I so what's on, the deal? You hate New Jersey Transit? Yes. Number 46th ranked transit in the country. I looked it up yesterday. Who is the four worst? The four worst? Oh, I I should have kept looking. I honestly, but the three best were like Vermont, Wyoming, and uh, Wyoming. Some other state. Yeah, they must have. So for transit, they count like highways and bridges and shit. Oh, okay. so not just the trains, but uh, yeah, NJ Transit forty six. So you were onto something. Who could be the four? Who is who? Are the four states that are worst? Let me look it up. There might be more than just four worst. Actually, forty six might not be that. There's probably some states with multiple, right? Long Island Railroad, it's different than Metro. I North, think it, it, it ranks 50. It ranks 50. Like, oh, okay. it went state, like the state's transit shits. Do they see you coming on and they're like, oh, fuck, this guy's on. I think there are a few people that do that, believe that way. Do you take the train to work every day? I take uh, Uber to uh, see caucus and then I go uh, into work. Barstool's not paying for your Ubers to work? Well, I got to I gotta write something off of my taxes. Yeah, yeah, it's true. That's true. And it's almost easier to take the train and even NJ Transit than drive in from from there. Yeah, yeah, there's no parking in uh, Manhattan. So tell me this. Um, so y- did you, I s- so that video of you doing interviews for sports was from college. So you've kind of always wanted to be in sports media deep down? Yes. 
Did you often just like think about it all day? Well, d- you know what I mean? Because it kind of took a while between I mean, that's, college that's and now. That's kind of why I started the sports encyclopedia, maybe hoping one day it would catch on to someone. That's exactly why I kind of started the show, because you never know. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Uh, if you're doing uh, trying to work for Barstool and you want to work for Barstool, and everyone always asks, how do I, how do I get a job at Barstool? And uh, here's the advice. Make content. Make content. Do content. Show that you're valuable. And, uh, you know, you sound like Gary V. Right they have now. you yeah. speak to the interns during Maybe. like the summer intern season. Well, uh, the interns are around somebody, the interns who make themselves, uh, most valuable are the ones that get hired. Yeah. 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 So, uh, um, that's crazy. Like back to what I was getting at, I was like, so you just, were you, you started sports encyclopedia, which is a website with like, it's basically baseball reference type of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Team histories of all the sports. Uh, and you just manually put it all in. Yep. Uh, and, uh, right now I haven't been able to update it. I I'm living my life. I don't, I has don't. anyone offered to buy it off you? Uh, that's a possibility. Cause it has, it has more value now now that you've yeah, got more popular. Just pos- a possibility of it's that. It's kind of like a relic. Yeah. I work for uh, the spun.com. You know what that is? No. And Sports Illustrated owns it. Damn. He didn't even know what Barstool was until he worked there. That's true. Well, uh, Barstool's gotten a lot bigger since then. Yeah, yeah I mean, Barstool's blown up. Uh, Barstool was just about to blow up. It, would, it was... Did they give you equity? Uh, well, I, I get bonuses here and there. Yeah, I'm sure, dude. They should be giving you mad bonuses. Uh, but the uh, with the Sports Encyclopedia, I just don't have the time to update it. And uh, I had that when I got $10,000 from Big Brain... What's that? Uh, it was a thing. It was a thing that Barstool ran. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I've heard of it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, the company that uh, helped build it did not make the site easy to update. Mm-hmm. And now that I'm busy all the time, I'm going everywhere. I'm doing cameos for everyone. I'm making content. I just don't have the time to. Does it stress you out that you can't? To, it's kind of like your baby, no? Uh, it's like your forgotten baby. I'd like to hand it off to someone who could uh, run with it and make it much better. Do you have anyone in mind? Not off the top of my head. You should hit up Frank Thomas. Be like, remember when we met on MLB Network? <laughs> yeah, so you I, don't, you no longer like the uh, Nets. You're rooting for the Knicks now. Well, I'm an NBA fan, free agent at the moment. I, I just don't have any faith the Nets could ever do things right. Also, now and they're in Brooklyn, the they're not New Jersey. Here, here's the issue with the Nets. Twice now, they've put the chips in the table, and it's just blown up in their face. Kyrie Irving feels he was disrespected. Always. Yeah. It, 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 literally, if you're not on your knees sucking his dick, <laughs> <laughs> he, somehow you're not respecting him. That's disrespectful. <laughs> did you did you feel that way about him when he was on the Nets? He just he just never stopped. He so never, we're Boston fans, he and never, he was so he, fucking annoying to be a fan he of. He never stopped. If you had a message for Kyrie Irving, what would it be? Fuck you. Wow. <laughs> Harsh. If you and got the chance to meet him, would you want to meet him? No. 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 But you, and you'd like, probably like to meet all the other guys. Yes. Kenny Atkinson. Yes. Would love to have dinner with him. Yes. Kyrie Irving? No. Fuck that. I, I mean, I'd still meet Kyrie. I mean, I don't have the same, like, just frustration with the Devils that I do for the other teams. Devils are great back in the early 2000s. Yes, they were. Scott Stevens. Yeah. You'd love to get dinner with him. Yes, I would. Yeah. And, he broke door, sleep with his brother's wife? Uh, No. Is there a rumor about that? It's not his brother's wife. What is it? It's his brother-in-law's wife. Oh, so his <laughs> sister? Oh, no, so no, no, no. no. Is, what? <laughs> okay, here's here's the thing. Uh, it's it's Uncle Daddy. <laughs> that was the old joke. Martin Brodeur was married to this woman, and <laughs> this woman had a brother. So okay. he stole his. There's nothing sister, wrong with that, his right? His wife's brother's wife. Damn, he fucked and, that whole family. And now he's married. He's been married to her for like 20 years now. Wow. It was an ugly divorce proceeding. I mean, that's about <laughs> as ugly as it gets. I mean, and the joke at the time was uh, he was Uncle Daddy. And the whole <laughs> thing is there's like, just because there's a goal in the net doesn't mean you can't score. And he's the goalie. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, he took that to heart. And they would actually have like, uh, he would get derisive chance sometimes, Uncle Daddy. What are, your, what are your thoughts on that? Because they ended up getting married, do you think it's okay that he did that? Uh, well, you know, the heart wants what the heart wants, I guess. Marriage or bust, right? I mean, they've been, they didn't even marry 20, like 20 years now. So it's, yeah. it's, it's not like it was, it wasn't like a passing fling. Uh, you know, um, 50 years ago, you guys probably don't know this story. 
And uh, the Yankees never w- d- d- blocked a chance of a movie being made about it. About what? Ben Affleck and Matt Damon were supposed to play the guy. Yeah, the you know the story. He's a movie guy, this guy. The pitcher swapped wives. Oh, um, interesting. Mike Kekich and Fritz Peterson were two Yankee teammates at the end of the 72 season decided we're going to spice things up in our life and we're going to swap wives. Ooh, all swingers. Season. Yeah. Was it a decision or they were like, were they dating and they, and there was, was there two affairs going on that didn't know about? It was a 70s thing. That was, I think one of them stayed married and the other one didn't something. Like yeah. That. Mike Kekich's wife never went back and is still married to Fritz Peterson. Wow. Why would the Yankees block? Well, it's not the Yankees business. That's a great story. Well, uh, about uh, 20 years ago, uh, Ben Affleck and Matt Damon pitched making a movie and the Yankees basically like threw a fit and told the studios, we will not use our licensing. We will not. Yeah. Oh you can't God. use I think our they team bought name. the rights to it, but they couldn't get like full sign. Maybe now that Steinbrenner's gone, they'll ease up a little bit. Yeah, they, they, couldn't get, they couldn't get Major League Baseball or the Yankees licensing to use the team name or uh, images. Were you a big baseball player as a kid? No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I suck at everything. I don't have the uh, hand-eye coordination. I don't have the reflexes. But you got the love for the game. Have, and I don't have the shape. Um, tell me this. Would you cut off your ring finger if it meant that the Mets, Dolphins, and Devils all won a championship this year? Get the guillotine. <laughs> cut it off. Someone walks in here with a knife, and they're going to slice it off. You're down? I'm down. Damn, you love your teams that much? Yes. I was going to say a finger for each, Ooh. each championship. Would you How cut many off? would you give up? Okay, yeah. Four. There you go. And would you get greedy in the next year, just cut off the rest of your fingers? Like, No, I'll be satisfied. So you'd cut off four fingers so your teams can get championships? Well, basketball could wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Nets, especially. You now don't even have better. a team. You don't have a team. Tell me this. So you, uh, one of your big things with bar stools, you eat a lot. You eat hot dogs. You rank them? Yes. Do you, I asked this to all my guests. Do you think you could eat, a, if you had a gun to your head, do you think you could eat 100 hot dogs in 24 hours? A hundred's a little much. Hey, gun to your head. It's, you're living or dying, and they're pulling the trigger if you don't eat them. A hundred's a little much, but I could get close at least. Yeah? Yeah. I, I think around like 80, it's about to get really tough. Yeah, I mean... How many does Joey Chestnut eat? 70? I think 76 in 10 minutes. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. Yeah, of course it's tough. I mean, that stomach doesn't... It, it, you could, it, you'd have to puke yourself. Yeah. You'd have to get it out. All right, here's, here's another food question for you. Every meal for the rest of your life has to be from the f- same chain restaurant. Which one are you choosing? Hmm. Chain restaurant? Yeah, so it doesn't need to necessarily Could be Could it be like food. Applebee's? Applebee's counts, yeah. Eating good in the neighborhood? Mm. Have you ever worked at a restaurant? Mm, Let the man no. think. <laughs> you know, uh, a good steak place. So, uh, I know the Applebee's probably might be the best choice, you know. What about Outback? They're all right. Yeah, I, I think that might be the move. Have you been to Panera Bread? Uh, they got a wide variety of foods. I've gotten a few things in Panera Bread. I've never actually been in a Panera Bread, though. I've done Uber Eats with them. Oh, okay. Oh, I feel like that's got it. Have you got a bread bowl? Yes. And they ship it. They ship the soup separate from the bowl. Yeah, and that didn't. Yeah, it doesn't work. It didn't work. No, but Panera's definitely a go-to spot. What would you rank Panera on a scale of one to 10? Well, I've had other things there. The uh, the uh, tomato soup is about a 7.4. So not as good as Mike's chicken cutlet? No. No. That's a. Hey, wow, thank That's you. pretty good. Very, very good. Where were you uh, when the USA beat Russia on the Miracle on Ice? Uh, I was uh, four years old. <laughs> what about Damn. when Bill Buckner, the, the ground ball went under his legs? I had to go to bed. Oh, wow. Bed. Damn, that's like the best moment in Mets history. Yeah, and I was 10. Damn. Yeah, I was watch- I was actually watching the Red Sox play before I came over here. Sure. The Angels. Okay. Otani. And I had fucking uh, Angels minus one and a half. Oh, you bet a lot? A little bit. What do you use? Draft game? Oh, no. Barstool. Is barstool, of course. Yeah. What's like your, t- does Barstool give you money to gamble? No. What the hell? Do they recognize who you are? <laughs> they don't give you like bonuses in your account? Well, there's bonuses, whatever bonus anyone else can get. Uh, that's oh, my goodness. Do you I- think Epstein killed himself? <laughs> 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 yeah. 
uh, there is no way that, that Jeffrey Epstein killed himself. There's no uh, way. Yeah. Has anyone ever asked you that on on camera? No. Are you worried now that you said that, that you might be, like, people will be, be, look into you? Hillary. <laughs> Hillary. Hillary. Kills more people than cancer. <laughs> <laughs> so you think Hillary Clinton kills people? Uh, I, I may not have been Hillary Clinton. She's never pulled the trigger on anyone. No, no, well, she pushed the button. Yeah. <laughs> it may not be, it may not have been Hillary Clinton. Could have been someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Hillary Clinton has someone do the dirty work. Oh, no, for no, no. Her. I'm not saying it wasn't even Hillary Clinton may not have been the person who pushed the button. Yeah. Someone pushed the button. <laughs> Don't you work in the court system or you work? I did, I did for. Oh, so you know what's years. going on behind the scenes. Uh, to me, uh, it, 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 uh, it was either it was either uh, someone high up in the you know U.S. government who uh, had Jeffrey Epstein killed through the CIA, or it was uh, Her Majesty's. Who's that? Service Hillary. Do you believe in the Illuminati? Yeah, probably. There's there's definitely Illuminati going on there. Yeah. What what would you say is like but, probably uh, the Illuminati? <laughs> uh, the uh, the bankers and the uh, and the governments. Jay Z and Beyonce. Probably in the Illuminati. You're right. Papa I feel like John. they're like Papa John. No, no, he got kicked out if he was. Yep, but uh, who I think uh, might have had uh, Epstein killed might have been the uh, the royal family. Really? Oh, I guess because uh, one of the princes was involved with that, or oh, like I one of the sons. About that. Yes. Yeah, that Andrew. was dude. If they, you know what, yo, if that's fucked up, because they should just let him take the hit. No, they're too proud. If like no, someone we, in my family uh, did something terrible, I would I would disown them. Look at Prince Harry. Do you have any siblings? No. I was going to say. Oh, Prince Harry's a, a weirdo. He's is a crybaby. He, which one? Who's he married to? Kate? No, right? He's the other one. Meghan, Meghan Markle? Markle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're the worst. I like the South Park episode. Oh, it was great. Very good. They we want it, our privacy. They showed his book and it was, the title of the book was, Wah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they, they, they were like, how do you disrespect us like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, no, they're literally the worst. Do you oh. watch a lot of movies? Yeah, here and there. Who's your favorite actor of all time? I don't know, really. I don't have a favorite actor, actually. You ever watch The Natural? I feel like you'd like that. Yeah, I've seen that movie. What do you think Field the best the sports movie of all time is? I'm going to actually say it's Miracle. Gavin O'Connor. I, I, I think that might be, that's definitely one of mine. But it's also like the easiest story to freaking make. Like, yeah, underdog story, but it USA, was, Russia. But it was well done. It was very well done. Great music, great trailer. Maybe one of the best trailers of all time. When I he's mean, like, what do you play for? I mean, that whole scene with the... Uh, Again. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Unreal. Did you cry during that movie of happiness? No. No, no. It didn't get me either. Have you seen Hardball? With Keanu Reeves, he coaches the inner city kids. I've only seen bits and pieces of it. You should check it out. I've never seen that full movie. And then uh, message me on Instagram and let me know if you cry at the end. All right. I'll see if I I get a chance to watch it. Yeah. If you get a chance. It's not that great, but um, I bet it'll make you cry. I tell you what the world, I, I tell you what one of the worst sports movies is. Fever pitch. Oh, you're which you're, one? You're, which one? You knew you're trying. You're trying to get us to get mad. Which which fever which fever pitch? There's two. I didn't know there was. There's a, a there's a soccer one with Colin Firth from back in the day. I'm talking about the awful one with uh, uh, Drew Jimmy Barrymore. Fallon and uh, Drew Barrymore. Jimmy Fallon. That's a remake. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on Drew Barrymore? She's all right. Just you ever all seen right? E. T. What E. T. I remember now that movie I actually cried at. Really? really? When? When he gets sick? No, when he dies, when he leaves. Oh. Uh, how old were you when that came out? Um 18? I was six. Do you believe no, in aliens? You weren't. Yes, I was. When did that come out? 1982. Oh my god. It came out that long ago? Yeah. I'd probably oh, I thought like my oldest brother was like a little kid when it nah. came out. He, well, it was I just guess something was... you would show your kids because it was such a Famous, popular movie. Yeah, and, that, mo- that movie came out uh, 1982. Did, so did you cry as a six-year-old or when you're more older and you can kind of like get... No, six. Yeah. What do you think of DiCaprio dating the really young women? Well, you, you better just keep them... Uh, stay above uh, stay above that line. Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> he'll be doing time. Or other what's Hillary the might age, have to kill someone What's for the him? youngest age girl that you would date? I don't think I would go below 26. You're That's a good, good guy. There you go. I, my girlfriend's 26. I'm 30, but no, I think 26 is a fair game for most ages. What, you're 47? Uh, yes. I don't think anyone would be too mad at a 47-year-old dating a 26 Once year Once you're 25 and up, you're an, an adult. Yeah. Like, yeah, for sure. 
Wow. What do you, uh, what do you think about when your boss dates younger women? I guess his girlfriend's not that young. No, I think she's in her, I don't think she's that young. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to get you in trouble. Yeah. I, I think people rip <laughs> out DiCaprio for like well, 20. Well, girls, well, so. I, that, that's a personal decision. I, I, if it, I mean, as long as it's, as long as it's, it's someone that, uh, that's not, uh, 17 and he's not breaking a, a, yeah, he's not breaking the laws. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think I wouldn't even come close to breaking the law. Like even like 19, I'd be like, nah. I mean, it's risky. I just don't know any 19 year olds. It's risky. Yeah. You're playing uh Carl Malone. Yeah. What did he do? Yeah, I think he impregnated a 13 year old. No. Yes. Right? This is probably what? on sportsencyclopedia.com. Yes. You guys cover that stuff on that website? No. Carl Malone, I think he might've been in college or high school at the time. He was young. He was young. He wasn't, he wasn't old, but uh, no, he, uh, and it was basically uh, swept under the rug, and for so long. And, and it wasn't until after his career ended. And I feel they, like when he was the judge at the dunk contest, or like this All Star Weekend, it got like brought back up because it was in Utah, and he's yeah. getting a lot of praise. He's laid low. Yeah, he, he lays pretty low. He's a pretty yeah. private guy. He is jacked. But uh, yeah, no, it was, it was. He was like nineteen or twenty at the time. She was thirteen. And she had a kid, and no bueno. What happened with the kid? Works at Barstool now? I don't know, but I know... Uh, One of his kids was a, played at LSU. Yeah. Uh, what eventually happened was, uh, and when it finally became public, is when he had a, a court order to pay the child support. Ah. Uh, went, wait a second. Yeah, it's iffy. Where yeah. were you when Len Bias died? I was 10. So you were at school. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you a summer was just getting ready to begin. Okay. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. NBA draft. Yeah. That's a terrible one. Holy shit. Who do you think Tom Brady should date next? And I was a Celtic fan at that time. Oh, because they really? were good. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. That's I mean, a great question, though, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Who do you think Tom Brady should date next? Mm, I don't know. Uh, pick anyone. Well, pick, uh, pick, pick one person. If you were Tom Brady, who would you date next? I don't know. You really you can't. like uh, Kim Kardashian? Oh, if you see if that, 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 the Kardashians are succubuses, they destroy people's lives. <laughs> Lamar Odom. Uh, did you really have a Bruce Jenner uh, like thing on your wall when you were a kid? No. <laughs> Wait, why did you think that? He had a big uh, poster of him. I thought. No. 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 Interesting. He's a little before my time. I the Bruce Jenner did. I was. I was. Uh, when he won the uh, decathlon, I wasn't even one years old. So you don't have a favorite Kardashian daughter? No. No, no Frank doesn't. Frank cares more about... Who, who's your favorite athlete right now? Uh, my favorite athlete right now? If you could be best friends with any athlete, who would it be? I don't know, uh, really. Uh, uh, currently, uh, I mean, Jack Hughes is the only one who doesn't let me down every day. Who's that? Jack Hughes. Pitcher. No, met uh, Devil's... Uh, Oh, see, my hockey's knowledge is off. There's definitely a Hughes pitcher though, right? Oh, I'm thinking of Phil Hughes from the Yankees back in he's the day. He's gone. He's he's actually now uh, into uh, pulling sports cards and doing content that way. I oh. Actually, I actually met him once. Do, so I was actually going to ask you, um, what's the, your, your number one most sought after card? I know you like cards. Well, I have to change it. You have to change it? Yes. Why? Because the number one sought after card I always wanted to get, I got. Which Ones, one? Onus Wagner? No. Um, I don't set my heights that high. <laughs> well, what'd you get? It was a 1968 Topps card. Mets rookie. Jerry Kuzman, Nolan Ryan. Why was that the one you want? Oh, D Nolan Ryan? Why was that the number one one you wanted? And how'd you get it? I, I brought it. You bought it as a card? Not You didn't pull it from a pack? No. Damn. How much better would you have felt if you pulled it from a pack? Oh, uh, well, I had... Uh, uh, yeah, the, the packs of 1968 tops are like ten thousand dollars. How much did you pay for it? Uh, I uh, paid. Uh, I got that in a Mickey Mantle card for two hundred and fifty. You know who Logan Paul is? Yes. Logan Paul should buy you a pack and open it with you and make a video about it. Well, that would be wild. Yeah, Logan That's Paul, great... make a video with Frank I, the Tank pulling some cards from 1968. From 1968. And I think I think now the uh, my uh, the card I'm going after is next is uh, Tom Seaver rookie. Tom Seaver, rookie. Do, Rest do you, in peace, right? Didn't he pass away recently? Yes. Tom, terrific. Tom Brady tried to take that trademark. What do you think and of that? That was, no. Did you punch a wall? Tom Brady has enough nicknames as it is. Yeah, why did he try to do, yeah, he's, that. that's not, 
That's a little lame. Why There's do you do that? There's only one Tom Terrific. It's Tom Seaver. Yeah, why are you trying to take someone else's name? You don't need to, you don't need to take a name. I saw Brady's now trying to do the mailman as a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> when the movie Old School came out, were you a little pissed off when they called him Frank? No, I just thought it was amusing. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I, every Frank I know has gone by Frank the Tank at some point. I think uh, there's like a dog named Frank the Tank too. Oh, the de- my friend's dog is Frank the Tank. He's a little dachshund. Did you ever have any pets growing up? Yeah, here and there. Would you have a golden retriever? No. Dachshund? No. Cat? Uh, my parents did have some cats. What was the name? Uh, I remember having a cat, Hojo. Hojo, that's a good name. What happened to it? Well, he got sick and died of it. <laughs> <laughs> put down or died of, uh, or died? Yeah, we were going to put it down and it died before we put it down. Okay, that's kind of, that's that's a good way to do if it. If you could be any animal, what would it be? I don't know, a dolphin, I guess. You get to uh, swim in the ocean all day and <laughs> it's a good pick. and tumbles. Yeah, I, I'd maybe be a whale or a dolphin. That'd be cool. Uh, then we got a, d- a dog, which is actually a chihuahua. Wow. I, I pictured you having a small dog. I don't know why. What was the name of that? Uh, my parents named it Little One. They didn't have any like Little One. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's unique. Thing. So what'd you call it? Little? I guess Little Lit. I actually asked my girlfriend this the other day. Would you? I asked her, would you rather be an orca whale or or a dog that's a house dog, like in a family? And then they eventually got a what you call it? They got another after that dog passed. They got a, a Pomeranian called Yogi. Yogi after Yogi Berra. Yep. Wow. Do you think Yogi Berra would have liked the fact that he was named a Pomeranian was named after him? Not sure. They, I don't. I don't know how I feel about Pomeranians. But, but I like it, Pomeranians. They're athletic. And now they now they have, now they have two Chihuahuas again. Oh, nice. Where and they live in Jersey? No, they live in Idaho. Interesting. Idaho. How the hell did they end up there? My parent, my mother's side of family's out there. Oh wow. Do what like do you think of the right? Idaho murder case? <laughs> not good. It's not good. Uh, but you know, there's murder everywhere. But uh, it's surprising it happened in Idaho, and basically the Idaho police came off as inept. Yeah, I mean, they did better than, uh, I mean, they solved it, no? Yeah, I guess eventually. Yeah. It, well, may, I, I mean, there's rumors that they're playing off that they're inept to, you know, make it seem like. It could be, could be, could be. Like, they didn't uh, want to give off any leads. Uh, Columbo. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> you don't know what Columbo is? No. It's a famous TV show from back in the day. Oh, wow. This guy's like an encyclopedia. You and, should you should have him run your sports encyclopedia and, site. And, and Columbo was uh, Peter Falk played Columbo. Keith Falk. Peter Falk. Actor? Yes. And uh, what happened with now Peter Falk, and it was like a, it wasn't just like a, a weekly TV show. It would be a show that would come on like, there'd be like the 10 two hour movies a year. Oh, interesting. And it, and it would be like NBC would have Mystery Sunday, and it would be like uh, a rotating like detective shows. And it was like uh, Macmillan and Wife was another one. Uh, and uh, so it was like a whole bunch of different shows. And the most popular one was Columbo. And uh, here's a trivia question for you. Who directed the first episode of Columbo? What year was it released? 1971. Steven Spielberg. Yes. Boom. Wow. I mean, you're not going to ask unless it's so notable. Did you yeah. see The Fablemans? No, I haven't seen it. I watch it on plane. Don't watch it. Do you watch Succession? Yes. Who's your favorite character? Well, uh, I, guess, I guess it might be Logan. Logan? Is that the okay. dad? Yeah. Wow. Well, he's gone now, hey, right? Hey, hey, we can't spoil it. I'm, I, That's spoiled. I don't even watch it. I know he died. I mean, first off, Connor is aloof. Yeah. And the fact that he's trying to run for president is a joke. Yeah, I love that. He, he, his wife his wife is a gold digger, and he knows, <laughs> he knows she's a gold digger, but doesn't, but it's such, it's such like, 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 like needy for, that he doesn't even care. She's a, is she a prostitute? No. Or an escort? No. Oh, I thought she was. She hooked up with one of them at the bachelor party i think tom yeah oh yeah. okay so the second this is his second girl so then you have kendall who's just a loser <laughs> chicks think he's hot he's a loser do you do you see him as attractive he's i mean obviously you're not attracted to him but like no handsome a sex symbol no oh he's not a sex symbol that guy is some he? chicks like him a lot shiv she's a bitch wow <laughs> She's three, she she is Logan if she was if Logan was a woman that she'd be like that she's they kind she of is, look similar she, to she's vindictive and she's they're probably trying to do that she's she's she's, she's going to stab somebody in the back her husband there is the biggest asshole of them all Tom, I love Tom Tom Wompcast there <laughs> if, if, okay so when they got married 
um, she had a prenup that said like, if she got caught cheating, she didn't have to give him any money. If you were marrying a woman and she did that, what would you say? <laughs> then you know something's up. Yeah, you got to know something's up. But I guess that they're so rich, you don't even care at that point. Yeah, what are your yeah. thoughts on open relationships? It's, it's, it's risky. It's, 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 you're Someone always gets fire. hurt. Yes. Um, yeah. And then, uh, then you have, uh, who is it? Greg, cousin Greg. He's a creepy guy. Uh, in real but, life? Do you, did you, uh, do you believe in God? Yes, yeah, somewhat. Then why don't any of your teams win? Because God hates me. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> Look how great he's made your life. You're literally, your job is to talk about sports, rate hot dogs, travel to games and countries, and people uh, love you. Yeah, but, but sometimes I just feel cursed. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, I uh, I went 0 for 8 in my NBA bets this weekend. I went. Uh, <laughs> That's pretty hard to do. Uh, <laughs> I took the I took the uh, Angels minus one and a half, and the fucking Red Sox scored a run in the ninth inning. Still lost, but did you uh, watch the marathon today? No. Well, yeah, who watches the marathon? I don't know who watches the marathon. Not me. Did you have you ever been to the New York City marathon? No, I don't really like going. I've I've, I've gone though. I could drive to those. And it was it was it was it was a, it was a, a chilly, rainy. Wet afternoon in Fenway. The Angels had Shoei on the mound. Uh, the game started an hour late. Then they uh, played two innings and rain delay. And when they came back, the Angels were up five to one, and they took Shohei out. And they've managed to hold on despite the. Uh, and then you lost not, your bet. They didn't, they didn't score another run, and then the uh, the Red Sox had first and second. Two could have tied it, but. Uh, just some horrible at bats at the end of the game by the Red Sox. Do you ever? Are you ever like laying in bed at night and being like, "Fuck, why did I make that bet?" <sighs> Sometimes is that the type of shit that keeps you up at night? Yeah. Like, what else keeps you up at night? <sighs> the uh, the Mets uh, inj injuries. And you can't really control that though. Do you ever like think like, "Damn, I gotta like let go of these things I can't control"? No, it just f it infuriates me. I mean, uh, Max Scherzer's now out. We're gonna have a. Uh, Jose Butto in the line, in the starting rotation. They're probably gonna have to call up Joey Lucchese. They they finally call up Brett Beatty, and they're not even starting him today. They're having friggin' Easy Out Escobar continue to uh, bat 090. Hundred million dollars, and you're on an MLB team. You get up to bat once a game, and they always try to peg you. Would you do it? Yes. You're so you're gonna get pegged by a Roldis Chapman. <laughs> Every up bat, a pitcher's trying to peg you. You taking it? Yes. Wow. I don't know if I would. 100 mil is a lot, but... No, I'll take it. Do you think you'd be able to dodge it or would you just take it? Oh, I'd take the hit. Oh, my God. What about Frank? if he hit you in the head? You got to find a way to not get hit in the head. Wear a batting helmet. Yeah. Would Would you... Uh, what? <laughs> Let's Never see. gotten in a fight? Uh, years ago. It's been a long time. Fist fight? Yeah. Did you disclose that with Barstool? I was... Did you ever get arrested? No. No. I... Was how old was I when I got in a fight? Uh, it was school fight. It wasn't even ah. Uh, was, what was her name? I don't even remember. I would, I was just as like uh, I mean, thirteen years old fighting. Damn! Did you punch him in the face? Did uh, someone try to jump me? So I flipped him down and uh, pounded him. Wow! Where'd so you, you were up in Jersey. Uh, Bloom, Bloomfield, uh, just near Newark. I, I I lived in Newark until I was ten. Then Bloomfield and Belleville. Bloomfield Tech, they're good at sports, no? They used to be. Oh boy. Oh shit. Are you leaving? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> no more Bloomfield Tech. Oh, it's gone. Uh, rest in peace. All the good athletic schools in New Jersey get taken away. They uh, merged into uh, Newark Tech. Oh, interesting. They were good. I forget who they had. Oh, uh, you know who Hector they had? Santiago. And they had Butler from West Virginia. Hector, Deshaun Butler. Hector Santiago also went there. Beast. Where's your favorite place to go on vacation in the U.S.? I don't know. Uh, I, 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 I've been going down to Florida a lot lately, so that's a good place to go. You ever go to Disney World? No. Interesting. You probably should. I, I don't like Disney World. Miami? Uh, Miami's good. Go and watch Dolphins play. Oh, yes. What's your birthday? November 13th. November 13th. So that makes Was you a, a Friday? Scorpio. What? Was it a Friday? No, Thursday. Oh, okay. Let's see. Do you, do you believe in like, you know, astro uh, astrology at all? I don't buy into astrology that much. All right, but let's see if, if let's see if Frank matches up with these qualities from okay. a Scorpio. Determined? Yes, definitely. Definitely determined. You had that Chan Ho Park show. You had Sports Encyclopedia. Look at you now. Brave? 
You came all the way here and got on a camera with two strangers. I'd call that pretty brave. <laughs> He's fighting the NJ Transit. He's brave. Loyal. He said he wouldn't leave Barstool to hang out with Alex Rodriguez on baseball tonight. I'll give you that. Honest. Have you been honest with us? Yes. Everything? I think he's answered honestly. I agree. I think you've been very more honest than I thought. I thought you'd say no to Did a few you ever questions. See when I met Blake Griffin, no, do you like him? He's all right, but uh, I like him. I love him. Blake Griffin was playing for the Nets last year, and uh, Big Cat, what do I think about Blake Griffin? And I said, oh, he's not as good as he used to be. If he if the Nets could keep his minutes uh, short, he might provide a good part. But if he plays a lot, then the Nets are in trouble. Oh my he's, god, because he's pretty much washed up. He's only like seventy percent of what he used to be. What do you say? Uh, thanks. <laughs> oh, you're right next to him. Yes. Oh my god, dude. Wait. So you are. So you're brave. That is brave too, <laughs> and honest. And you're ambitious. Do you get jealous? That's one of the qualities. Yes. Jealous of what? Everything. Je you're not jealous of us. No. Why not? Because you're not jealous <laughs> that the Patriots win all the time. Well, yeah. Oh, that's jealous. That makes me jealous. It does feel good. Uh, secretive. Well, I can't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> and resentful. Do you resent fans of uh, teams that win a lot? Yes. Damn. So you resent us. Yeah, I'd say you do fit the Scorpio more. I think Drake's a Scorpio. Do you like Drake? Not really. What kind of music do you like? Yacht Rock. Yacht Rock? Oh, you like Jimmy Buffett? Uh, yeah, he's all right. Jimmy Buffett should... I feel like he's the face of Yacht Rock. Uh, I would say that Michael McDowell is. Yeah. Who's that? Yacht Rock McDonald. is oddly not as much. Jimmy Buffett? Yeah. I thought he's Yacht Rock to the core. No. That's something else. If yeah. You, if you go to any concert, what would it be? Uh, I don't know. I I mean, uh, I get a time machine and try to go watch Elvis. Elvis? Yeah. Do you, do you think a lot of Yacht Rock is from him? No. No? But, yeah, that would be kind of wild. Did you like the Elvis movie? Too much Tom Hanks. Yeah, dude. He was weird in that, too. His character was creepy. Well, Colonel Parker was creepy. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So he played it well. Do you like Tom Hanks? Uh, yeah, he's, he's a good actor. But just too much of him there. It was a... The the accent he put on and his, the character just... It was too much. Too, I, I agree. That's why I didn't want to see it. Um, is there an actor, like, if he's in a movie, you just won't watch it? I would say uh, Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda? Oh, I like Jane Fonda. What's she in? I know the name. She's older. She's in the new Brady movie. Oh, wow. Uh, She's who one would of those. play you in a movie if you could cast any actor? I don't know. There's uh, nobody could play me. I, I'd uh, do like Howard Stern play myself. Yeah, exactly. Like Michael Jordan, the new Air movie, they didn't even pick someone to play him. Are you a big Howard Stern fan? Uh, he's, he's washed. I think he's washed too. But you grew up a Howard Stern fan. I listened to him, yes. Do you think you, uh, you you could probably get on his show? Doesn't he do it remote though? Yeah, but you you definitely be. You could definitely get on his show. He's like a germaphobe. He is yeah. a germaphobe. Yeah. Are you a germaphobe? No. No. Do you ride the subway a lot? Oh yeah, you said you go to see caucus. Yep. People don't bother you. I get bothered all the time. Do you like taking pictures with fans? Uh, it's it, it's all right, but sometimes it becomes a little bit much. Are some people rude about it? Some people are very rude about it. You can't be that rude. Do you walk around with headphones on or open ears? Uh, sometimes I'll have. Uh, the iPods in. Do you have, do you have the AirPod Maxes or just the the blue white ones that go in your ear? I have the uh, the uh, Samsung earbuds. Earbuds. Yeah. Yeah, earbuds are good. Let's see. What about John Travolta? If if he came up to you and was like, "Hey, I'm thinking about this movie, Buddy Cop movie. You and him are the cops. You do it? Yes. Do it. Yeah. That'd be great. Have John you ever Travolta. Been in a movie? What? Have you ever been in a movie? No. You know, Giannis was in a movie as a kid, accidentally. Huh. Well, we're not accidentally, but like not because he was a star. Uh, who was the guy? Uh, who was his name? Uh, Ke Kevin Euclid. Yeah. He's in a movie briefly at like a 13 year old stealing kids lunch money. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Did I anyone ever that. steal your lunch money? They tried and I, that's how I got that fight. <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting about Kevin Euclid that he was in a movie like that as a kid. And then in Moneyball, he's one of like the excerpts about like one of the guys Billy Bean wanted. Yeah. So he's got an interest. That's an interesting career. Yeah, he, it, was, it was a horrible movie, by the way. Moneyball? No. Oh. I, I hate Moneyball. Really? Yeah. I hate Billy Bean. What about the, don't the Mets have a Billy Bean as well? They do, right? It's him. Yeah. No, it's a different yeah, guy. Yeah, it is. It's him. Isn't there- uh, Do you think Brad Pitt's attractive? Of course he is. I guess. He's handsome. Handsome, handsome. handsome guy. Billy Bean was a uh, Met draft pick 
Oh, I knew and that. Bust. But now he's on, he's still the A's GM, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was a Mets. Yeah. And in the book, he uh, Strawberry and I think John Elway gets mentioned. If but. the Mets wanted you to be their bat boy, would you do it? Uh, probably about 30 years ago, I would have done it. H- has like Steve Cohen reached out about you coming in the box at all? Uh, no. He should. <laughs> would you want to do that? I guess, yeah. Where, where, where do you think the best place to sit in an MLB park is? Right behind home plate. Right behind home plate. Not the yep. dugout. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm going to a game at Yankee Stadium uh, next week. I'm trying to like third row in the outfield, trying to catch a home run. Have you ever caught a home run ball? I have caught a batting practice home run. Really? Who's? Uh, I didn't get a good look who it was, but <laughs> it might have been. Uh, it was either Dom Smith or Michael Conforto. I like Dom Smith. He's bad. He sucks. Yeah, yeah. My my old roommate was a Mets fan, so I, I watched all those games. Have he, you ever done a cold plunge? What? Have you ever done a cold plunge? Cold punch? Cold plunge. Yes, I did the uh, Polo Bear plunge in 2000, 2020. Where at? Uh, Coney Island. Oh, wow. How was that? I got into basically my hips. Oh, so you didn't go full plunge? No. Not a full Polar Bear like Pete? No. Damn. Let's see. What time Oh, what time do you wake up in the morning? About 9 o'clock. What's your morning routine? Get up, uh, brush my teeth, uh, take a shower, get dressed, go to work. That qu- that's it? There's got to be something in the middle of there. Nope. It Read takes- the newspaper? I, well, I'm on Twitter Twitter, and uh, all the other social media, seeing if I got any messages or anything. You play Wordle? I play that before I go to bed. Oh, interesting. Wow. That's, it's an early morning thing for me to get my brain going. Yeah. I and the it. New York Times Mini. Yeah, I do it at night. Oh, wow. What's, what's your most average, what's like your Wordle score usually? Uh, Typically four. Four? Yeah, I've had that's the- What do you eat for dinner that? tonight? I don't know. I might take those cutlets home. Oh, you definitely, definitely take, take those cutlets home. Take them home. What's up? You can say it out loud. What's that? He's trying to mess. It. Okay, we'll wrap it up. Yeah, we'll wrap it up soon. All right, Frank. I have uh, two more questions for you. Here's a question for you. What advice would you give to someone out there who doesn't love their job and they just want to be happy? Well, I say that you start. Uh, Seeing if the, if you could financially take the hit. If you can't, uh, you, you're stuck. But if it's <laughs> <laughs> got more reasons, more ways out than that. But if if you could financially take a hit of a new job and and uh, or or just just start applying, applying to new jobs and new positions, and and uh, keep it secret. And if you get that chance, take it. Do you think part of you landing up at ending up at Barstool is because you always believe that you should be in sports media? Do you believe in the power of belief? Or do you think it was just luck? Not luck, but it like chance. It was a little chance. luck, but you know, I always had it. outside hope. You, yeah, I, I think I, I kind of believe in that stuff. And here, okay, one last question. If you could snap your fingers and cure either world hunger, so everyone, no one is hungry, or you can make sure that everyone on planet Earth has a good friend, which would you choose? A good friend, I think, is a good thing. I th- I do too. I think everyone should have a friend. I think, uh, as uh, Sam Kinison said, if you're hungry, move to where the food is. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. All right, Any so investment about, advice oh, yeah, you give the, the fans? Investment advice, passive income, maybe. Uh, well, just do the. Uh, I don't know anything about the stock market. I've never invested in ETFs. I got a four hundred one k. I don't know anything about investing, so I wouldn't have any advice for them. Crypto. I do not trust crypto. I will never. I have no crypto and I have no interest in getting into crypto. What about AI? Yeah, AI. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, uh, you know what AI leads to? Revolt. I, robot. Uh, Terminator. Terminator, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I honestly think that uh, Alexa and Siri are going to turn against us one of these days and, uh, and uh, we're going to be. Uh, uh, ask answering their questions. I've never had Alexa or Siri on my phone. I've never, I've never allowed it. Not because I'm paranoid, but it's just because I don't. Too lazy to set it up. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we got to wrap it up. But yo, Frank, thanks for coming on, man. Pleasure. All right, it was fun. Yeah, I'm sorry for bugging you in the DMs for months, <laughs> but it's not my personality to do that. But I knew I had to get you on. All right. Well, I hope the episode uh, does well. It and, definitely uh, will. Enjoy the chicken. Yes. Yeah, dude. Thanks for coming on, and thanks, Mike, for uh, helping me host. All right. Thanks again. I'll see you later. Thanks, guys. Peace. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Yes, enjoy the chicken. Oof. <sighs> it makes good comments.